Here are four quotations. Let your fashion do the talking with designs from Raquel Moda. Our boutique offers a wide range of clothing items, shoes, handbags, accessories and perfumes for both the men and women. From brands like Robert Graham, Steve Madden, Coach, Victoria's Secret, Michael Kors, Ralph Lauren, Hush Puppies and so much more. Visit our store at C3 Center Level 1 or give us a call at 765-6632. We are open Monday to Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram or on our website for fantastic deals. SNS Passat Supermarket comes to St. Mary's Free Port. With the wide aisles of variety, quality you can trust, a community hub and royalty rewards. When I say they have everything, they have everything from your fresh produce, your wines and spirits, your butcher meat, seafood, bakery, you name it, they have it. And with these prices, trust me. You're guaranteed to save some money in your pocket. So come on down and shop today at the brand new SNS Passage Supermarket, St. Mary's Freeport. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, and roti makers. Try our high-quality bromate free all-purpose and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg, and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiquicho Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715. Or visit us at Warrenville Canopia. Chiquicho Limited. Quality you can trust. Introducing Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, berberine, bitter melon, and banana leaf, berberine plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Thai Clinic has its big rim sale on. Get 20 to 50% off on the latest styles and sizes. We carry a variety of tires and tire equipments for agriculture and industrial needs at the best prices. Located at Kuva Shigonas and Pleasance Park, the Thai Clinic is tire for every need. your business or company not making money that's because no one knows about you advertise on crime watch the number one show and watch your business transform call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250 set yeah, I'm really excited, really, really excited. Frank wants us to do a set of front to back.
Step into a world of opportunities at CTS College, where education is beyond academics. Winner of over 50 world prizes, as well as ACTT Student Service Award. It's a college of your choice for quality education, guaranteed to unlock your true potential. Internationally recognized degree programs. Choose a degree that is right for you. Come in for your free career guidance session and start your future today with CTS College. Embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, eight spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. Enhance your space with extreme room and tile supplying limited. Get porcelain and ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, face basins, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Bonus or call 299-3271 for more info. Beat the heat at Kingo Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work, and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp, or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services, and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience, and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20 ton excavators, mini excavators, porta cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1300 frames to choose from. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. It's a marathon, Jen. You know that. 
You got this. Nutrients for immune system support, heart health, and energy metabolism. But remember, you have more than regular energy. It's Jennifer Lopez energy. Or J-Lo energy. Seems forced. Jenny from the block energy. Overdone. Jenergy. Jenergy! Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Welcome to eFix Investments Limited, your one-stop destination for all your home essentials. Transform your bathroom with our exquisite range of showers, enclosures, luxury bathtubs, modern toilets, faucets, ceramic sinks, and vanities. Enhance your kitchen with our stainless steel sinks. Our extensive selection includes bath, kitchen accessories, as well as security doors. Visit our showroom today at Southern Main Road, Homeland Gardens, Knupia, and let your dream home become a reality. Call us at 665-2282 or 671-2282. eFix Investments Limited, your home, your style, our passion. Obesity is a chronic disease and serious health issue in today's society associated with multiple comorbidities. At KSR Medical, our specialty is a medical treatment of this condition. Our doctors and pharmacists work together to help patients achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle through our five nutri weight loss programs. Patients can lose one to two pounds in inches per day. Major health benefits also include decreased risk of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, certain cancers, joint pain, lowered blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and improved mobility. Trust KSR Medical with your weight loss journey. Give us a call now to get started. Visit Domus Windows and Doors Caribbean UPVC Solutions, located at 57 Factory Road, Chaguanas. Get a wide range of glass options, including security laminate. Customization is our specialty to achieve sound reduction and energy savings. Check out our standard size stock windows and high quality bargains on ready to go units. Call us at 235 3700 or visit www domuswindows.com Mata Imports Limited the number one pickup shop for the best quality, price and service check out their showroom at number 750 Papery Road, Lower Barrapur for a wide variety of 4x4 SUV and car accessories you name it, they have it Mata Imports has all the latest items in the market, the 4x4 boss is always taking you to the next level in the automotive industry so contact them today at 654-5234 or 360-8773 for further information There's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. 
we gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when the streets It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause summer's always peeping by the fence I still cry much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down We gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're streets It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence I still cry much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, crying out loud There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence I still cry much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, crying out loud There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence I still cry much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, crying out loud There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence I still cry much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new king. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, crying out loud There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence I still cry much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, crying out loud There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down 
We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I ain't really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause someone's always beeping by the fender Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the king I good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we're back. Top of the evening to you. All those of you who are locked online, especially good evening to you. All those of you who are looking at me all over the world, a special, special. I have my wrong, I have the wrong glasses up. On. Oh. That's okay. That's okay, but that's okay. You know, ladies and gentlemen, very interesting, very, very interesting, very interesting. You know, a short while ago, and this is breaking news, huh? This is, this is breaking news that High Court Judge, High Court Judge um, Quillian, Quillian Williams made a decision today, ladies and gentlemen, that That the that it it was the Hindu community was discriminated during COVID when they were denied outdoor cremations. This is a decision that just came to us. That information. Now this is bigger. Let me tell you something. Come back to me, and I will never forget, ladies and gentlemen. As some of you might say, what about Mr. Ramdin, Attorney Gerald Ramdin? But I always tell him, I say, if everybody likes you, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, you're not doing, you're, you're not doing, you're not doing the right thing, sorry. Because when you do the right thing, everybody would not like you. And that's why sometimes when I go to places, I see people just, like, you know, not too much fun that I'm not I'm doing the right, the, the, the right thing. I can remember, ladies and gentlemen, how many of you cried screamed, fell on the ground because they never had a chance to see a loved ones. Never, never had a chance to see a loved ones. Thousands of people, they were never allowed. No, no not thousands, over 96 persons. And that was one, the cremation was one. And I want to say a special hello. You know who, to an extent, really kind of caused this thing to, bring, to come to the forefront? Das. Das Funeral Home. Yeah. They were treated, people, the, the Hindu community was treated badly. 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 They were denied proper, bar, pro, proper burial rights for their loved ones. Cremation rights for their loved ones, proper rituals. I am from the Hindu, I am from the Christian community. We have family who are Hindus and Muslims. I mean, family, yeah? blood family. But in the Christian community, we'll have to get the priests, we'll have to get the Bible, we'll have to get a proper, a proper service, we'll have to sing Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. When the, when, when the, when the role is called up here and I will be there. We have a couple of hymns that goes with, the, with our Christian ritual funerals and whatnot. Our Christian funerals and the, 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 the burial. And you have to respect that. We respect that. But you couldn't have a priest, a priest, somebody is picking up a Bible and and come and, and do the final rites for a Hindu person. That could never be right. To each his own. To each his own, and we must have respect. We must have respect. And today, the ruling came across that the Hindu community was, was discriminated when they were denied outdoor cremation for their loved ones during COVID. I wonder what Terence Diaz has to say about that today. 
I can remember, ladies and gentlemen, that out in the world, outside of Trinidad and Tobago, it weren't like that. Some places, they were still getting to see, to glimpse. People, loved ones, were just cremated and they never had a chance to see them, never. The ambulance come and pick them up home and that was it. You never had a chance until, and let me tell you something, give credit where credit is due. Never forget attorney Gerald Ramdeen. I can remember the court decision that day that the woman called my studio and she said at least she will get a chance to see her loved one, the face. Some of you might say, nah, that, 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 that is not true. That is true. I could call back. I could call back attorney Gerald Ramdeen. This is attorney Gerald Ramdeen photograph here. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that, that that day, I can remember, they did, let me tell you something, I can write a book. Hold on, come back to me. I can write a book. They tried, I never told you this, eh? I never, never told you this. I get those images of me, Cora. When they said I have COVID, nobody around me had COVID. The government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago embarrassed me. They, they, they gave instructions to close First Citizen Bank because I went to First Citizen Bank. Up to this day, nobody from there got COVID from me. COVID. Well, for, from, my, from me going there that day. There are persons who I sat down next to, air-conditioned room. They, they, they tried everything. Just a, just a second here, yeah, just a second, just a second. Just a second, keep the call on the line. And it was sad. It was a wicked, it was a wicked act against me. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you today, never forget the water that tried to drown you. Never forget it. Maybe you survived the current. Maybe you live. Maybe you, maybe you were washed ashore after the undercurrent in your life. But never forget the water that tried to drown you. Never forget it. I remember, and that is why today, I still have my concerns about people like Berkey and them. It might sound like a joke to you. I still have my concerns about people like Berkey and them, how they died. I know somebody who was lying, who, who was sitting right, lying in a bed right next to Berkey. And Berkey was normal, talking to workers, everything. That same book, he from, from Sealots. That same book, he. I spoke to him. We had a little back and all, and somebody had shot down my drone. And I came and I spoke to him. Dolan and all of them was there. But let me tell you something. There's the book, he. We have a photo here. I tell you that today. Like some guy with a wheelchair outside. Could somebody go see what, what's happening with him? Yeah, just a second, please. And ladies and gentlemen, it had a night. In fact, People were making their wrongs, but it was a very unusual wrongs that, 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 that we always in the morning. Instead of five o'clock, they were coming three o'clock in the morning. They said they had to give me an injection. Three o'clock in the morning? Three o'clock? That is what they wanted to do. Three o'clock. I never told you all that, but one day, I would, one day I would tell my story. One day I would tell my story. They sent persons, psychologists, to make me feel that I was going crazy. Asking me what I, what I thought about this place. How if I see things, if I'm hearing noises, all kind of silly things. That is what this government, ladies and gentlemen, that is what they did to me. But today I stand strong. Today I came out. You don't know. You wouldn't imagine to be locked up in, in a place for 20 something days and you can't come out. Have to beg, have to drag food through a back door on the ground. Place it with the garbage. 
If I go to tell you these stories, that persons are wrong, will put food close to the garbage, that when they come to collect the garbage, I will pick up the lunch. That is what I, Ian Allen, had to go through. You know why? Because of my voice, because of someone standing up. People don't pay green mango, you know. And that is why today, people should sue them. They should be sued. I have somebody on the phone today whose daughter died. We have a photograph of the daughter. Okay, ask the person before we, before we go, before we take that call, let us send it to my phone now. Let, let, let us send it to my phone. Get a photograph. There are so much people, thousands, and there, there, there are people who, who never had a chance, who never had a chance to say goodbye. You know what it is, you, 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 you know what it is like to, for the now and them. That's why I tell you today, you know. That is why I tell you today, you know. What a Michelo pass here, you know. What a Michelo pass here, you know. Everybody was ranking. Truckman, everybody. Everybody was head honchos. It was a fashion. The whole, that whole period, everybody was wearing the best. While the business people were shut down. While the little, while the, yeah, there are people. There are people, ladies and gentlemen. Well, everybody had, had attitude and, and, and this press conference was like, the, it, was, it, it was at the Grammy Awards. Every day they come out with the best. No way to speak to people, no sympathy, nothing. With the little salons and the little shops and the little parlors and the tenants in Trin City Mall and everybody shut down, lost everything. When we asked for the grant, when we asked for the grant, we, are, we, we had to prove, I think I had to prove it if my mother had a man before I born. Everything, I had to go back to everything. That is what they took us through to get a grant. But when election day is near, they know how to put the polling card in your mailbox. They find you by, that's it. So why, you, why, why we couldn't get a grant just like that? And that is why they could say things about Trump. They could say things about Biden. Ask them during the COVID, during the pandemic, how they had pantries where they give you groceries. You could have gone there Tuesday and Thursday, right in Queens. I hang out a lot in Queens. I'm in Jersey, I'm in Woodbridge. But ask them, the kind of nice groceries they had, what we got? What we got? Doctors died, nurses died. But what they got? A pan of biscuit. A pan of biscuit, and those are the same people today telling you they're going to get an increase in salary while you get 4%. And all is happening right now, when you thought two, two political parties would have been coming together and, and doing what they have to do, Back and all now, back and all, total mayhem, back and all. So we are back to square one. Because you know what? Everybody's egotistic. Everybody just want, everybody just want to be their own. Everybody wants to be prime minister. Everybody, 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 everybody. But at the end of the day, nobody cares about the people of this country. Nobody. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. And that is why, as I told someone last night, I just watching, I just watching. Don't beat up, don't rile up. Don't rile up, don't rile up, don't rile up. But nobody here gonna use us again. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi. Hi. Yes, good evening, ma'am. Yes, uh, my daughter died on the 6th of June, 2021, from COVID at the San Fernando General Hospital. And she was taken with the ambulance to Coover Hospital and then trans waited whole night in the tent and then transferred to San Fernando General Hospital. Wow. She did. She remained in that tent 
and then taken to the ward. I don't know what ward it was downstairs. I had never seen my daughter again. I never saw her face. The box came sealed, not at my home, but straight to the, to the um, cemetery. And it was very, very unfair to me. Are you a Hindu or Christian? I'm a Muslim. So no Muslim rights, no um, nothing. No, the imam no, coming, they nothing. just wanted to send the body to a Simpsons funeral home. You can't do that. How you going to do that? And, and I would have had to pay for that. I said, no, I don't have, I'm a pensioner. I don't have money for that. Wow. The I said, said I will ask my, funeral, my Muslim funeral home yeah. if they could help me to go and take the body from Augusta Long. Uh. And they said, well, I have to come within an hour to take the body. Right? But the day before she died, they told me she was doing very good. They took her out the ventilator. She was aware of her surrounding and everything. And they was transferring her to Augustus Long, where they got an ICU bed for her. Ma'am, you know how many people are, are, are in that mood? How many people today are in that mood? How many people today have experienced that? So you never get a chance Blow to see your daughter. Lord, behold, Sunday morning, they call me 10 o'clock and say she crashed. Hmm. Well, you know what? To Allah you come, to Allah you return. And inshallah, you'll see your daughter one day. I mean? But it was so, so sad. The bag I packed for her, I don't know what they did with it, if they burn it. If they, if, I don't know what they did with her clothes because she didn't even wear clothes. That yellow gown that they had her in is the same yellow gown they transported her body in. Wow. She never, never even get to wear a proper clothes. But don't worry, ma'am. God is good. God is good. And I couldn't do nothing because her husband was in Point Hospital with COVID too. So he didn't get to see her. It was so hard telling him the wife passed. And how old was she? She was just 45. She had any children? No, they didn't have any children. And she was Muslim. But from the time that ambulance took her, we never saw her again. Not up to this day. And it's, it was only until... until Pardon he, me? And I remember... Thank you again for sharing your story, Mom. I wow. And I remember Gerald Ramdin going after. You remember, get the panel for me now. The, the famous panel. While all that was going on in COVID, that people buy two Benz, you know, two Benz, two Benz SUV. People buying car on that panel. All kind of fancy vehicle. People getting trans, pe people getting big posts. All that. The biggest rocket ever run in this country was for 10, the white tent outside them hospitals and them. People was making money. Because when there's a pandemic, there's no accountability. You know what people want? You know, you know how many people praying in this, in, the, in this country right now for a pandemic to make money? For some bacchanal? To make money? You know what people? But God is good. God is good. God don't sleep enough. He might put on a pajamas, but he don't sleep. I tell you, people suffer. People suffer. All kind of thing you have to do for grant. All kind of thing. In a one by four million population. One by four. One point four million population. Every day they come out and they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. They talk. Let me tell you something. Eh? They had no sympathy. They had no sympathy for nobody. None. None of them. From captain to cook had no sympathy. You know why you would have no sympathy? My grandmother used to say, only who in the kitchen 
feels the heat. Only who in the kitchen. When you have a short salary, you can say shut down and lock down enough. When every month you're working for five or six thousand dollars, rain could fall, rain could fall, snow could fall in Trinidad, the building could, the, your, your whole world workplace could burn down, but you have a short salary while they, while, while they rebuild. A short salary. You could say anything. You could say anything. But nobody cared about those who have to go out and look for, look for a salary. That if they, if they don't come back with nothing, they get nothing. The laborers, the, the mason, the plumbers, the little store clerk, they didn't care. They didn't care. They dressed the best on the panel. Look at them. Remember this? The best on the panel. All of them, the best on the panel. All of them, the best, the best. They were the best. They come up with the best fashion. They locked down all these salons. Locked down all these salons. All them little girls who wash in there, who, who little hairdresser girl who had to pay, who, who looking for a hundred dollars. It wasn't no funny thing. It doesn't matter people were cooking on Facebook and not kind of do it. It's just, you know, it wasn't matter about that, you know. It's how people was treated. And never, let me tell you something, never. And today I tell you, all were going on politically. Who fighting who and who don't want to join with who? I tell it to you on national television, never forget the water that tried to drown you. Never forget it. Maybe you survive. We have all survived. We have all survived the storm. Some fell, some fell aboard. Some fell abroad, but nevertheless. Let me take a call, huh? Yes. Good evening, Mr. Allen. Good evening. Uh, great program as usual, Mr. Allen. Uh, I, I don't know. When I hear this, this program, I get so emotional. I feel to scream right now, you know, because a good friend or a relative died from this COVID, and, and they should not have died because I personally get COVID and I was treated home, do my own thing and treated home, and I recovered full-blown COVID I get. So when I, uh, when I listen to this, I get, you know, I get so emotional. I feel to scream right now, you know, Mr. Allen. Yeah. yeah? We, you, the, you, you, you the savior for this country, you know. You it, and the it. world is telling us that this bunch of politicians we have here continue to destroy this country. They further continue to destroy this country more and more and more every day. They are funding crime and criminal activities and destroying lives, everybody lives in this country. Discrimination is the worst crime on the face of the earth and this government and today? practices it today? blatantly and openly, you know, Mr. Allen. Thank God you again. bless you, man. Long life, Mr. Allen, and your program, man. Great work. Thank you. And let me tell you, today, today, High Court judge, Quillian Williams, recognize that. Today, ma'am, thank you again. I want to say thanks. I want to say thanks. It's not politics. And that's what I tell you. That's what I tell you. Don't ever, ever, the worst thing, make sure, don't ever compromise. We must never make, we must make sure that we stand with the independent bodies. The, the officer, the DPP, they try all kind of thing. All kind of thing. They always try to influence, they always try to get in the officer, the DPP, the judiciary. All kind of thing they try. But there are judges that will stand up. I heard that they remove, they, 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 they remove a, a, a detail from a particular high court job. I don't want to say who. Wow, politics play, politics. Politics. Uh, let me tell you something. I tell you this today. I, the way all things run in here, a lot of judges are in high-profile cases should be, given, should be given adequate security. From back and from work. They, but they deserve it. They deserve it. They deserve it. They deserve it. You send a man to jail. Family and friend waiting outside for you, you know. Trinidad is a, a small place and always remember that. So I see nothing wrong with judges be given adequate security. Have a, a small detail or something and by extension magistrates. I see nothing wrong with that. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. And we have money, we have money. We have a, 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 a management problem, but we don't have a money problem in this country. But you know, they wouldn't do that because everybody alone want to ride high. Them alone want to ride high. Them alone, them alone, children have more value than yours. They are, they, they are more precious in their side than your children. They alone care for their wife and husband. They don't care about yours. They don't care about your children. 
when you dispense justice as a judge. They don't care. They don't care. But they had detail. Those who had detail could say, now nah, stop them. Pull off that. If you ask me, every judge should have that. Every judge. We, 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 do have a, we do have a money problem. We don't have a money problem. We have a management problem. But they don't care. They just don't care. They just don't care. And today is a, today is a day. And let me tell you something. Boy, if they might think about Cora, you don't know now. You wouldn't imagine how they, how they really, really ridicule me. Eh? It's at times when... But I tell you, but it had good nurses and good doctors. But the doctors never wanted to get involved. It had a particular doctor told me a day, nothing wrong with you, Mr. Allen, but I just, I, just, I just go in with instructions. Imagine those in charge of Cora. The doctors had a bat, according to how management bowl. And they can't say nothing. I didn't know I never know COVID. God, God, never, never, never up to now. One minute, I, well, I, if they tell me I, I, they, they, go, they go to discharge me, i negative. Negative, ready to pack up clothes. Somebody come and say, no, nah, don't send them out yet. Scrap everything. And I see they are going real bad. And then cursing, I don't believe in cursing on, on social media. I don't like them kind of thing. And I have poor taste for somebody like me. I don't do that. Maybe you could do that, but I can't do that based on my position. And children look up to me and whatnot. There are certain things I just won't do. But, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I will never forget it. I will never forget it. And I would live... I tell you, sir, everybody, everybody who, who tried to destroy me, ladies and gentlemen, I would live, and I, Ian Allen, would live. Never forget the water that tried to drown you. Never forget it. Never forget it. And that is why I went to a particular store, a particular store. That woman started to cry. I took a picture with, with her. 98, 98 was supposed to send me the picture. I took a picture of a woman in a store. One of those stores that sell those curators and because 98 relative had died and I went with him. And let me tell you this. That lady started to cry in the store as she saw me. And I'm like, what are you crying for? And she said, when I was hungry, I didn't have nothing to eat. And she said, you send food for me. I said, lady, me, when I send food for you. I remember we did thousands of boxes. We had the curve on the lady, the, the boy who danced here, curve on Samlal and other people. Pack pickups, vans, and just go. We, how many places we did? You, you all remember? Like, like you, 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 you all remember some of the places we sent food? Bamboo. Felicity. Enterprise. Charlieville, Arima, that time we do South, Grandi, yeah, send Madeline, send lunches and hampers. I couldn't send the hamper, but send a lunch. Yeah, pay, paying people to cook. Just for you to get a meal. In my own little way. And today everybody might be going their way, but one lady remembered me. That way don't bother me, you know. it don't bother me, you know. I understand public life. The most ungrateful people you'll ever meet in life is, is human beings. Whether you like it or not, sorry to say it. Very few you will meet and they will tell you thanks. All the people I help and get justice for them and think Christmas come, birthday come. But it don't bother you, you got customer that. As the late Kenneth Lala, senior counselor, Um Lala father told me one day. He said, Mr. Allen, when I was opening, when, we, when, we, when we were preparing to open Crime Watch, have any function and whatnot, he said, when you do anything you do, do ever, do ever look back. You will waste your time. Just do what you have to do and keep moving. And from that day, I remember that. And that is the man who told me, you will die, but your name is what lives on. Your name, your name and the, the, the deeds that you do is what lives on, what will stay on this earth that people will talk about. God forbid when I'm ready to leave, nobody would look at nobody and say, Ian Allen was a con man, a scamp, a vagabond, a drunkard. Well, no, I don't know. No, no. But they're saying, 
Your name is all you have. Your name. So today, it's really a, a, a great day. I don't know how, how certain people if they can take any action now based on this decision. I don't know. But it just goes to show, not only the Hindu community was treated bad, but the, even if you have from the Muslim community too. But today, High Court Judge Quillian Williams said that the Hindu community was treated badly. Hats off to the panel. Hats off to the great panel. The now, all of them. All of them. Hats off to them. You, they, they, they was ranking, you know. When I tell you ranking, ranking, ranking. There's nobody better than them, you know. You couldn't talk to them. You could not talk to them. But them was like, them was like messengers from heaven. Them was like messengers from heaven. Everybody used to watch up so to them. While they, while they, while they dictate our pace and they had a short salary. Shut down this. Shut down that. No work. Lock them up. That is what we the people are trying to be going through. We the small fries. That's why nobody cares about the poor people in this country. Nobody. Everybody just want to get a hand in the cookie jar. And if they don't get it, if, if they can't join and get it, they will break up and get it. But remember, never forget the water that tried to drown us. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Mr. Allen, a wonderful good evening. A wonderful Mr. good evening. Mr. Allen, I, oh yes, I always tell you, you have a heart like a pot of gold. You are walking and working by faith. You are such a strong man. I am so proud of you because I am telling you the things I see you pass through since I've been looking at your show, the things that people did to you and you could stand up and say, I forgive them and befriend them. Man, you are a man. You are a man of God. I see people going to church, but I never see people stand up like you and be strong with people and speak the truth. You see that little thing with that lady lost in her daughter there? Man, that made me so sick. Yeah. And you had that power, strength and authority that you could tell her, don't worry. One day, you're going to meet her. Um, Allah, you Those are Allah, comforting words, Mr. Allen. I just don't know how to express the way I feel about you as a human being. And again, human beings would not be grateful to you. Never. You know why? Because you're serving a true God. Amen. You're doing God's work. That bishop that called you the other evening... Man, tears came to my eyes, but I tried getting through and I couldn't get through to repeat what that lady told you. You are gifted. You are blessed. You are wonderful. You see, that therapy you went through in Cora, Oy. let me tell you, it make you a stronger person to show these people up there, money is not it. Try and serve God. And have God in their heart. All of them grabbing at vanity. Yeah. That is all they want. The flashes. Mr. Allen, they don't care about people. No, they don't, don't even care about the people that put them there. Eh? And at the end of the day, all you're coming for people votes and treating them like dogs. Glory. Why the SRC don't on, see hold on. Remember what I servants. said. Remember what I said. Never forget. Never forget the yes. water that tried to drown you. Yes, I say Never don't buy the hand that feed you. Never forget. Ma'am, <laughs> thank you again for your contribution. God bless, God bless you. you tremendously, Mr. Thank Allen. You. Good evening. Thank you. And before we go, ladies, before we, before we take this break, I want to say a special to all those of you who are locked on right now, but it's real, it hurts. It's, I feel sorry. I don't have a bad mind for nobody, you know. I have gone through so much, so much. So much, so much. People betrayed me, all kind of thing. I do a bad mind. You know why? I'll tell you why. And I always remember as a Christian growing up that I always remember the book of Joseph when Joseph's brothers sold him. And he went through all kind of thing. They put him in jail. They do him all kind of thing. But it, there was a famine and it, Joseph was the head honcho. He was the man in charge with the king now. He was in charge of this food distribution. And when his brothers went to him, he could have cast his brother into prison or, or let the lions eat them up or whatever. 
But you see, God condition your mind. When you, you see, when you're destined for greatness, all who do you wrong will come and stand before you. And, where much is, where, 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 and you, but you will have power. But God conditions your mind that you're not bitter anymore. God has conditioned my mind that greatness is ahead. And, it's, and my life has a bigger purpose. A bigger purpose. That I can't think about isolated incidents in my life and be bitter. I move on. Just remember, never forget the water that tried to drown you. Let's take a fast break. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagonas, 672-5052 or 3903196. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Total Tools One Stop Station by Salinas Marketing is the number one authorized distributor for original Total Tools products in the Caribbean. We are located at 797 to 799 Papery Road, Lower Barrack Po. Come in and take advantage of our specials on pressure washers, rotary hammers, cordless drills, mitre saws, chop saws, ladders, and more. Contact us at 654 5996 or 367 8665. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Welcome to Efix Investments Limited, your one stop destination for all your home essentials. Transform your bathroom with our exquisite range of showers, enclosures, luxury bathtubs, modern toilets, faucets, ceramic sinks, and vanities. Enhance your kitchen with our stainless steel sinks. Our extensive selection includes bath, kitchen accessories, as well as security doors. Visit our showroom today at Southern Main Road, Homeland Gardens, Knupia, and let your dream home become a reality. Call us at 665-2282 or 671-2282. Efix Investments Limited, your home, your style, our passion. Health is not a sprint. It's a marathon, Jen. You know that. You got this. Nutrients for immune system support, heart health, and energy metabolism. But remember, you have more than regular energy. It's Jennifer Lopez energy. Or J-Lo energy. Seems forced. Jenny from the block energy. Overdone. Jenergy. Jenergy! Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Get ready to save big in the new year. Get Easy Wrap Foil 2 for $20, Happy Pasta Cuts 4 for $20, Bumblebee Tuna Chunks 2 for $20, Axion Dish Paste 2 Pack $30, SNS Detergent Assorted $15, Mabel's Ketchup Flat Pack 4 for $30, Hungry Jack Pancake Mix 2 for $25, SNS Paper Towels 4 for $20, Rich Board Vegetable Oil 2 for $25, Suavitel Fabric Softener $120. This carnival, you can win a cooler filled with all your favorite drinks in our exciting No Place Like Home. Panadol Cooler Promotion. To enter, simply spend $300 or over and drop your entry in one of our entry boxes located at any SNS Passat Supermarket locations. Four convenient locations, Rio Claro, Mayaro and Freeport. SNS Passat Supermarket, loyal to local. 
Obesity is a chronic disease and serious health issue in today's society associated with multiple comorbidities. At KSR Medical, our specialty is a medical treatment of this condition. Our doctors and pharmacists work together to help patients achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle through our five nutrient weight loss programs. Patients can lose one to two pounds in inches per day. Major health benefits also include decreased risk of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, certain cancers, joint pain, lowered blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and improved mobility. Trust KSR Medical with your weight loss journey. Give us a call now to get Let's start it. Rain's Fresh Produce Retail Outlet and Wholesale Department, Rain's Pharmaceuticals and Rain's Tasty Food is a sole company dedicated to providing fresh local and imported fruits and vegetables, affordable healthcare and delicious meals for all at unbelievable prices. We have a wide variety to choose from apples, grapes, strawberries, plums to all your local produce, wholesale case options also available. Enjoy our mouth-watering breakfast and lunch dishes prepared fresh every day. Our trusted and reliable pharmaceutical department is well stocked with all prescription medication, over-the-counter drugs and other health-related products. Head on down to number 83 Endeavor Road Shagornas and shop in comfort and safety. Contact us today. We are open Monday to Saturday. At Rains, we are committed to serving you. Beat the heat at Kingo Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. Final extension, no further extensions. The India InStyle Expo at the Dome Mid-Center Mall will be closing on the 3rd of March. Big sale and huge discounts, a few days left. Everything must sell. India InStyle Expo at the Dome at the Mid-Center Mall is definitely closing on the 3rd of March. Just in time for Eid, the Fab India Expo opposite Medford Gas Station in Shigonas will be reopening on the 9th of March. We've got unique items available, one-of-a-kind Islamic outfits for male and female. We've got special gift items also available. Join us for Iftar every day, also catering the best groom and bridal outfits. Get matching jewelry, footwear, makeup and all that you need. Multi cuisine food board, reopening on the 9th of March. Fab India Expo opposite Medford Gas Station, Shigonas. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Telling me in in Lehi. So somebody was saying something, eh? In Lehi. Yeah, but you know, people don't know. Huh? I remember during the COVID, it's COVID time, there was a flood time. We were giving out hampers, thousands of hampers, thousands. We had we were doing it live. We had a big food station, the supermarket association got involved and Everybody, people from all over Trinidad were sending stuff. And we were giving them receipts. Everything was done with the highest level of transparency. That is why the supermarket association, Rajiv Dipti, and the crew came down here. Get a picture of Rajiv. And I fell off a, a, a van while doing the food distribution in Pinal, you know. Fell off, you know. I don't know if I broke my hand. What was that? Rochard Douglas Road here. Yeah? Ambulance picked me up, yes? Ambulance, you know. I don't know if my hand break, I don't know what. And them nurses and them come and they watch me, they're like, man, thing. They say, wow, Mr. Allen, you're looking nice. It was, well, it was a little excitement when I reached the hospital, but everything was done on the lows. I tell them, just don't, don't, don't rile me thing, man. But I did all my x rays and things, I was okay. And I went back the next day and continued, but just man was swollen. You don't know now, you really don't know now. You really don't know. You really don't know. And sometimes you ask yourself, how did I reach so far when so many people attempted to cut me down? How did I reach to this, to this level? How did I? And this is only God. It's only God and the protection of the good Lord. And that is why to everybody, you always need, you always need an extra force, an extra being. Always recognize there is a God. 
whether, whether you, whoever you believe in, whether you go to a temple, you go to a mosque, nobody should be treated differently. Nobody should be treated differently. You go to a temple every day, you do puja, you throw a gel, you go Fridays, you go mosque, you go communion Sunday, everybody should be treated fairly. Everybody, everybody, God is their God. Everybody, God is their God, and you must be, and you must respect people, people's belief. Everybody, the same respect you respect mine, I respect yours. That's why, that's why you'll notice on every occasion, whether it be Christmas, whether it be Eid, whether it be Diwali, whatever, you will notice. We recognize that community, that Muslim community, that Hindu community. Government might, 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 might respect them, but we, I, Ian Allen, respect them. And this is my show. This is not a government show. This is not funded by government at all. But I never forget what they did to me. Never. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. And good evening, Mr. Allen. Good, good evening. evening. I once again, very good job. Mr. Yeah. Allen, what I try to do, you and all, they try to hold you down, mash you up, put you in a corner and shut you up. Because you were signed up for, for, for the people them. Mr. Allen, what you happening? You tell me that lady who called there and it have thousands of that, that same um, hundreds, problem, Mr. Allen. That they couldn't see the children or the husband or the, or, or, the, or the wife because why the government didn't handle that properly. It wasn't. The government supposed to give people grant. They never give people nothing. Pop. They collect all the money, shut down the country and telling you go and... Um, apply by NIS to get money. When you go on there, problem to get your own money. People in this country, all of us never, according never to, to Mr. Allen, don't forget the, 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 the river that tried to drown you. The water. Be careful because yes, we're right. coming up now for election. Never forget the water that tried to, to drown you. The never treated, forget Mr. it. Allen. Never forget it. They'll come with all the goodies. Never I'm forget it. You, Never, I'm never, you, forget come it. All the goodies, take it, never forget it. Never forget it. Never forget what it, it do to this country. Imagine this all in the, before I go. It have people, old people, have their money, hide up all about. And you telling me you come and you strike down there and you put a new currency, a new dollar, a new hundred dollars. You know why they did that? You know why they did that? You know why they did that? They can't get money change. You know why they did that? Because an election uh -huh. was coming. So they didn't want anybody who had money to finance candidates and campaigns finance. and whatnot. They had to come with the new and money. You, see, you understand? And so you they, see, they, they did Allen, that. Peter they Paul did that. They did and that. And people suffering, Mr. Allen. That, that was the purpose Mr. of the currency you know, of politics. Without your program, we will never hear the truth that what's going on in our country. Well, let me tell you something. Everything is under the And never the tears of that manager in Scotia Bank. Remember the manager that collapsed in Scotia Bank in Chicago? Yes. Do you yes. that money time? Or well, that Christmas yes. time, during that money time, the poor girl collapsed into your office and collapsed in her. Was too much. The tears gonna fall on them, Miss Allen. Go, hey. You tell all me, that you come tell back. me. Let her drive the country. car. Let her drive all the fancy car. Let her get in the fancy suit every morning I, and think about Cobo Fly Eye just come down to drink water. Show us some, some picture with it. All the hair do nice and all the hair cut nice and everything, and then salary going in the bank every month. What about the poor and people? Shut down. Who put Don't do this. Office? Don't do this. Don't do that. Shut down the bars. It have people up to this day. And let me tell you something. Even Carnival, you see it. This one go come and say, shut down, shut, shut down early. Shut down early. Shut down 10 o'clock. Shut down 9 o'clock. It's no fight or nothing. It's you no know? fight or nothing. You know? Shut down 9 o'clock. Shut down Carnival early. Shut down this thing. Shut down that thing. What about the small vendors and them? Who save up at 4,000? And they're selling a little corn soup and they get permission to sell a little corn soup. What about people who take the drinks on consignment? Nobody cares about this small man, you know. Nobody cares, you know. As much as I understand we have crime, but at that time, it had all the police and all the, everybody patrolling. You understand? It had everybody patrolling. But shut down this one. Shut down 10 o'clock. Shut down 11 o'clock. Shut down half past nine. All about closed down. They shut it down. Because they have their money. They have, you see, when you, when you are belly full, you don't know about hunger, you know. Why do you think I'm so compassionate on, 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 on people and I can relate? I can relate to anybody because I know where I came from. I came from humble beginnings. I come from a little board house in the back there. Sunday, a Sunday boy, Saturday morning, I got up early and I went to a shammy mother funeral. Harry, that and them. 
Early morning, I get up and I go down there. I reach on about half past eight. He pondered, he pondered, say, what come and say? I come and talk on there. I don't to do them things. To take the spotlight. I, don't, I, I ain't looking for that. I put on a shirt and a jeans and I go on down. Right in the back of Belgium, I meet everybody. Miss Duchenne, everybody. Everybody, they say, I don't know Benji. Benji, where you going? Don't call me Ian Allen. At home. Because that's where I come from. Shami, Shami mother, Shami used to work, Shami used to work right, right, um, right, sisters. He and, well, right now where Rohan works, his brother. But he used to go by them. They used to come by with the little board house. His mother used to come by us and meet my grandmother. They were best friends. They were best friends. And she used to come, and she, when, when, when she make roti and okra, i never forget that. She used to bring it in a little bowl. And she said, hey, Benji, eat a little roti and okra, nah? And yeah, I, I busting up that. And if I ride my bicycle and my grandmother send me for peace or anything, she go say, Ben, you go eat? I say, yeah, 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 Tante, I go eat. And she go take out the, a little normal plate and I go eat, man, I go eat and I think I'm full of my belly. I can never forget them days. I can relate to everybody, I can relate to these small ones. As, let, me, let me tell you something, yeah? As much as you go up, you must have more reverence for those who are down. Hi, Cole. Good evening. You're live on crime, which I'll tell you about a couple murders. Go ahead. Hey, good evening. Yeah. All right. The first time getting through with you after how much years since the inception of your show, right? I finally get through with you. So, with regards to the whole panel and everything, imagine that Miriam Abdul Richards, right? She oppressed the entire Trinidad and Tobago with the panel, right? And get promoted to Angostura, big post. And Trinidad and Tobago never stand up and say, hey, what now? Let me stand up against that. Right? Nobody said nothing. Everybody just that let it go. And that was during right? the pandemic. That is true. And I want to... Right? And I everybody true. just sweep that under the rug and just leave that under the rug. when everybody's business right? was shut down. I remember that. And she, then she was promoted as a director in Angostura. No offense. No offense to Angostura. We love no, the, no we love the rug. No offense to Angostura, but... I support Angostura but, a lot. You understand me? But I have no, one that I, but, you know? Uh, watch me. If you're supporting wrong things, you're supporting wrong things. You know? Right? And then the next thing too is, all these projects and them, they're running on. You know, I had to say it. Where the safety barriers, where the jersey barriers, where the protection for the public, I have to say it. I have to say it. Election coming and everybody running to do road work. And nobody protecting the public. Right? So, They're setting up all these other things on the highway. No nothing, coast. nothing, nothing. And nobody care about if anybody run off the road and dead. Right? Boy, Before a long on, time when, when the other people was in power. Hold on, hold on. What did I come up on the flyover? The driver. Guns in on the flyover. You know when we reach up on the flyover? The flyover, the flyover. Where you seen on either side, you seen sugar on main road. On top of the flyover. You know all of a sudden, a cone just reach up on the road and a police woman direct it? I said, but what madness is this, boy? Somebody could have knocked down this poor lady. Yeah, but the, the whole thing is the public not saying nothing. It's okay to have these kind of things going on. Why are we not standing up against every this? Level, every level is oppression. Every level. Every level. In Guyana, you could get U.S. like that, you know? You get U.S. like that, you know? From the ATM, get them. I call a Ghanese girl what date was. I call Chenakshi. I say, I still like me. She say, yeah, man. I said, you ever take a little US and when you're coming down here? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. She's, I, I, I'm telling you. They're yeah, going in the ATM and, and getting US. It might cost about eight something to, to, to get the US for how, however they convert it from Guyanese money and whatnot. But them have access to US normal, normal in Guyana. And only to chase them. How much time did that under this government? They had Guyanese like dog in the airport as they reach. Where you from? You have no paper, go back. Barrett Jack Dale, the vice president of Guyana, told me that. And he said, he said, don't worry. He said, don't worry, Ian, don't worry. You think that never bothered them? That when the people had to beg like dog in Piaco Airport? Like dog? Treat them like dog? You make fun of them. You do them all kind of thing. Why do you think I can go to Ghana and raise my head? Because many, many years ago, you all didn't even know that. When it had the great, the, the biggest flood, in sometime in 2002 or three or whatever, a big flood in Guyana. We, we contacted a pharmaceutical company and we were given out pharmaceutical supplies. I made all the Kytron news, all kind of thing. Yeah. 
Barrett Jack Dave came and spoke to me, and I could remember that, and I was no Ian Allen. But I tell you, when you give, there's a power in, there's a power in heaven, you know. The power in heaven is not doing fraud and, and, and corrupt things, you know. The power in heaven is giving. Not trying to rob other people, not trying to rob the people, other people's property and, and try all kind of underhand thing and skullduggery, as we say in Trinidad. The power of heaven is giving. Full stop. Let's take a fast break. When we come back, I will tell you about a man who was shot and killed while building a drain in Aripero village, Roselak today. Let's take a fast break. Is your vehicle in need of repairs and you're tired of paying expensive prices for inferior parts? Then Car City Trading is your solution. We carry a wide range of high quality brand new Korean auto parts at unbeatable prices. From the smallest sensors to a complete nose cut, head and block suspension, body and electrical parts, engine parts, cooling systems, compressors, alternators, starters and more. We are ready to serve you at Lot 78 Bamboo Settlement Number 2. Call us at 615-2603 or WhatsApp 704-2246 to get your quote. Car City Trading, quality products at unbeatable prices. Family fun begins at Passage de Food King and Bright Onions. Dive into the thrill of our soap, slide, and skate promotion. For every $300 spent at Passage de Food King and Bright Ideas, grab your entry form and get ready to make a splash at Harry's Water Park with weekly winners beginning February 10th. That's right. Get the chance to win one of 50 tickets from Family of Five to Harry's Water Park. Your ticket to fun is just a purchase away. Let the adventures begin. But hurry, promotion ends April 12, 2024. And it's NLCB approved. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, aid spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside. Fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. At Army Hardware and Superstore Company Limited, we make hardware shopping a lot easier and affordable. We have everything from foundation to finish, new wave or are using circular deck and pan, pre-painted PVDF, BRC grade 1 red blocks, eco cement, corrugated or smooth steel and so much more. Approved by the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards. Come into any of our two locations, Derek Roches Village or Royal Road Aruka. Give us a call at 671-3001 or 692-3629 or WhatsApp 384-2530 for quotations. For every $300 spent at Passage de Food King and Bright Ideas, grab your entry form and get ready to make a splash at Harry's Water Park with weekly winners beginning February 10th. That's right. Get the chance to win one of 50 tickets from Family of Five to Harry's Water Park. Your ticket to fun is just a purchase away. Let the adventures begin. But hurry, promotion ends April 12, 2024 and it's NLCB approved.
get ready to save big in the new year. Get SNS Brown Sugar 2 pounds, 2 for $20. Old Max Sardine 3 for $20. Totally Active Detergent Powder 4 for $20. Golden Brand Margarine 3 for $20. Ibis Flour 2 kilograms, 2 for $35. Great Food Boneless Ham 3 pounds, 2 for $100. Whole Chicken 2 for $120. Country House Corn Beef 2 for $30. Orchard 1 liter 2 for $25. Blue Waters 5 for $100. This carnival, you can win a cooler filled with all your favorite drinks in our exciting No Place Like Home Carnival Cooler Promotion. To enter, simply spend $300 or over and drop your entry in one of our entry boxes located at any SNS Passade supermarket locations. Four convenient locations, Rio Claro, Mayaro and Freeport. SNS Passade Supermarket, loyal to local. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Remember it had a murder today and the triple and remember it had a murder today and the triple yesterday. A man was shot and killed while building a drain in, in Rosillac, Aripero Village, Rosillac. The deceased was identified as Keith Bar Branca, aka Bim Bim, a father of five from Sobo Village in Labrie. Around 8 15, Branca was reported building a drain with other workers from the Separia Borough Corporation when two gunmen approached. The suspect, the suspect subsequently fired several shots causing the workman to scatter in different directions. The suspect pursued Branca to the back of a house under construction where they fired several shots, killing him at the scene. Before Branca's death, he, he allegedly had heard asking the gunman, what do, what I do all your boy? So he was, somebody said that they hear him asking the gunman. Go ahead. So that boy. The is that boy. So what what gun he done cut a piece of money here and he just rock back here taking a five now boy. So I come out, I don't see him money up, I stand up on the side. So I telling them all them men are talking to now. I was gonna say why, but let's see I turn trade man now. Mm -hmm. uh, me and this journey tell her as I about to say that, why this from behind me I just see a hand coming with a rusty revolver. Next thing I see a next one appear with a rusty revolver and them men are running eh? The men come okay. to take the time walking now boy, yeah. Mm -hmm. They 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 make no run up scene. To make a mad scene, they walk, take the time and walk, and pass everybody. So everybody was like, "We yeah, see me, your boy, boy, dog, we stun." If men ready, if the men had come shooting, by everybody had done scatter and run already. Mm. But the men come normal, let's aim in the gun now, and they didn't fire nothing yet until they reach, till they reach up on the dog. About this year, so they reach up on the dog, and then big man fire. But I think the slimmer man fire first. But I, with that day, he get a dog because he was car here. So with that dog, he dog all say, "Pada, pada, and the pelt to about two more." Bang and he pulled out here with a speed dog and watch. Then shoot until you run inside. I have bang bang inside again. I swear to kill the dog inside it. But the dog run out of there. Run round the house. Run back around. Come I back to me. Come back to me. I say, but this is what done, man. That video will be posted on, 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 online. Tell me, my camera, man, what kind of camera you use when you're stepping out? You didn't use our mic. It, it was natural song. You know, they, they, they stole a car at Lampo uh, 60, Toko Main Road, Sandy Grandi. I want everybody to know how that video eh? Show the last three, two, two minutes fast. I have the video where they, where they stole the, the, the Corolla. Right? And where the guy is stealing it here. This is in, 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 in Lampo 69. 60, sorry. All right? This is the, one, this is the car thief. Watch him. Have a close-up shot. Watch him. You know him? He was on the phone all the time. All the time on the phone. Watch him. All you know this man? Anybody know this man? I just want to add one time. Tomorrow, add the, the, the full thing. There's a big car thief. Anybody know this guy? Don't add. Listen, man. Post it on every site tonight. 
In fact, don't post it yet. Don't post it yet. Don't post it yet. We still have to speak with the owner of the car. I want to get the more details and more videos, but never yes, I have that. Also, the country has recorded second triple murder for the year after three men were gone down in Marval on Monday. The deceased were identified as Tony Trim, a.k.a. Minty, of Cascade, Javon Peters of Barataria, and Kirby Victor Beatham Garden, who are all alleged members of the Seven Gang. So you see all the, you see everything running? Remember the, the, the murder in Marval yesterday? The deceased were identified as Antonio Trim, a.k.a. Minty, of Cascade, Javon Peters of Barataria, and Kirby Victor of Beatham Gardens, who were all allegedly members of the Seven Gang. Around 5 p.m., the trio reported went to Moralo Street to engage with other persons from the area. However, a disagreement ensued during which a white truck drove in front of the victim vehicle to block them from leaving. Shortly after, several men armed with guns opened fire on the SUV, hitting the driver, front seat passenger, and killing them at the scene. The third victim, who was at the back seat, ran, ran out of the vehicle in an attempt to flee the hail of bullets. However, the suspect followed him and killed him along the So, oh! Oh! So now you're here. This man was in the car also. You see? This man was in the car also. I thought it was a separate, not a separate killing. He was part of the van too. So go, 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 go back to the black SUV. So they blocked them. They bring a truck and they block them and they deal with them. They kill all of them. The three of them. And then he got away and he went to bed. So we thought it was a separate killing. No, he died. He was the fourth man. So his three of his friends died. Three of them died. He ran out, and they dealt with him on the road. They were, it's alleged they were, they were saying that they were members of the seven gang. You remember the last triple murder? No, the next triple murder. This is the second. This is the second triple murder for the year. And we're just we're just the 27th of February. The second triple murder took place on Tuesday, the, the 16th of January. 2024, when the 26-year-old Shaquem Dennis, 19-year-old Israel McLaren, both of building E Paradise Highs Mover, and 19-year-old Jamal Williams of Upper Maplands Mover, was shot dead while five others were injured. That, that was the last triple murder. Also, also, ladies and gentlemen, come back to me. Remember, we don't end at seven, yeah? We don't end. So, director, like a, a, a minute to seven, always have that billboard. Bam! Let people know. You can continue to look at me on Ian Allen Network on Facebook, Ian Allen Network on YouTube, and it does not end. It does not end at 7. We run till quarter past 7 and we continue. I kind of leave some of my hot stories till after 7 now. Just for you to make sure to download the app on the Allen app on your, on your Android phone, your iPhone. Also, a 19-year-old man was shot and wounded in Belmont on Saturday. Around 1 p.m., the victim was walking along Belmont Valley Road on his way home and he heard a series of loud explosions. He felt a burning sensation. A 19-year-old walking home and he felt a burning sensation. Also, two men were hospitalized following a chopping incident in Golconda on Sunday. Around, around 6 p.m. in Golconda, two men ages 40 and 40 reportedly lying near a Golconda recreational ground when they got in an argument. Shortly after the argument in physical during which both men armed themselves with cutlasses and dealt each other several chops about their bodies. Residents intervened and managed to separate both of both men and contacted emergency health, service, health services. The duo was then conveyed to San Fernando General Hospital where they were treated and listed. We don't end at seven, I remember that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, so that was in, Gol in Golconda. Um, Police Constable Mal too is continuing investigation. Also, the suspect involved in the stabbing death of 36-year-old Ansel Ramkelawan in Sandy Grandi is said to be a is said to be Pikachu. Arong Ar Pikachu. Now we see they say that he can assist, yeah? We're not too sure, we can assist. Around 12.05, Ramkel Aron or Graham Chase Sandy Grandi was standing in front of a burger cart near East Lime Casino along Eastern Main Road. During the confrontation, Pikachu reported pulled out a knife and stabbed Ramkel Aron several times, it is alleged, in his chest, killing him at the scene before walking off. They were, the police were notified, these responding officers, along with the DMO, visited the scene. The search was... I wonder if I deal with Pikachu already. 
Pikachu was a suspect in the murder of 42 year old Karen Thomas, aka Musa. He was stabbed to death on Market Street in Sandy Grandi on the 9th of October. Oh, yeah, I remember this footage. It was an act of self defense. So they let Pikachu go. I remember this. And you remember that same Pikachu, right? That was that fella. That was um, Karen Thomas. And then also that same Pikachu. Also on Wednesday, the first of November. Just going back to my archive. We can create a big I have a great archive here. A great archive where we get all the information where I kind of put away things from the day and time I started. Also on Wednesday, the first of November, Pikachu was shot and wounded at the Sandy Grandi home around 7.30. That was in the first of November 2023, around 7.30. He was reporting at this home and he heard someone call out to him. He then went to the window and looked outside and observed a man armed with a fire. And the suspect on seeing the movement by the window began firing shots, hitting Pikachu in the chest. Pikachu, let's take a, come back to me. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man identified as Latif was caught. Apparently, he attempted to rape an elderly woman in Lions Gate. Enterprise, go ahead. Apparently, somebody in Lions Gate. Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, it's in, it's in, um, and then, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, Lions Gate have a serious sewer problem right now. Sewer water flowing in the whole of Lions Gate, and the agency development has refused to address it. Lions Gate, right? They say Wasa refusing to help, but we were getting contact with Wasa with Kelvin Romain, the CEO. I will speak with Kelvin Romain. All right, but never let sewer flowing in, 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 in Lions Gate right now. And Lionsgate, let me tell you something, by before, between now and Thursday, I will sort it out for you all. I want everybody in Lionsgate to know that. I'll call you as a CEO tonight, Kelvin Romain, and we will discuss it, what's happening in the, with the sewer water and whatnot in Lionsgate. All right, just to let you know that. So Lionsgate residents, fret not thyself because of the sewer water. Neither be afraid. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just remember the white feeder wagon registration PEA 2529 was stolen from one and a half mile Toko Main Road, Sandy Grandi, around 2 a.m. on Monday. Remember, if you, anybody, anybody you know with a stolen um, feeder wagon, look around and see if anybody coming out for parts, anything. Also, a silver Nissan B414 registration PEB 6394 was stolen from a food basket car park in San Fernando. I'm still waiting for more footage. We're still waiting. I'll find that man now. If I get if I get the original footage, I will find that man. And I feel like Yankee. Now. I don't know why I feel like Yankee boy. He have a device in his hand. Watch that. Watch Yankee. And he press something. Watch. You see? Watch. That man looking like Yankee. Remember Yankee who thief the um, the Honda Civic. Never forget the Yankee. He's a no good. He's a thief, and he should be hunted down. And we need to find Yankee. He's a big chronic thief. Yankee, remember Yankee had stolen. Anybody know Yankee? Anybody know where we could find Yankee? Yankee, even though the boy got back, he'd be 14. Police find it back. You are the big thief, and Yankee is a big sting thief. That is what you are, right? Look at Yankee here. Anybody know Yankee? What's his name again? Um, Alan. Okay, remember when the TV fell off? Civic, just go to the video. Never forget Yankee. You gotta deal with them. There's over 5,000 plus cars stolen for last year, you know. There's 5,000? 7,000? 700? Well, over a couple of years now. Don't take me to the cross. But it's, it's over 700 from, from January to June. You know what it is, you're paying for a car, and no, and no good man like Yankee come and take your car and go on with it. But the guy got it back, he got it back. He got it back. And because of we highlighting it to people, saw the car from all over, come back to me. Don't, don't, don't put it in the car, the man painted over and all kind of thing. Also, a, a woman was attacked and robbed while buying ice cream in Kunupia. Around 6 to the 52, the 50 year old woman was what, leaving a shop along Boykato Road after making a purchase. As she was about to enter a silver Axio. 
two masked men approached and one of the suspects pulled out a fireman and a robbery, demanded that the woman hand over her belongings. The assailant then assaulted the woman before taking the keys to a vehicle and fleeing the scene. The victim subsequently made a police a response and, and a carrying out investigation. They tell you one car when you want to buy ice cream. You really think this place is easy? You really, really think this place is easy? This place is not easy, you know? And it's only politics. But don't worry, leave everybody, leave them, leave them. And I know all, to all my fans abroad, all those in New York, all those in London, all those in Brooklyn, all those in South Africa, all those in Kenya. We got people from Kenya locked on. We have people from Kenya locked on. All in Argentina, Australia, Dubai. You name it, we are there. Look, I was just chatting with some people from Guyana. And they just, they, they, they video called me and we saying, wetting after wetting, boy, wetting after wetting. I have a good friend who works back on singing. He's a guy and he's national. Really nice guy. He said, you're not going to bring tennis roll for you. Tell him, tell the president I said hello. They know me well. We have to fix this place. We need to, we need to, we will get somebody, you and I, you and I will fix this place. I don't know what we know. It's weevil right now. Weevil. I tell you, don't ever forget the water that tried to drown here. So they never forget where you went through. You know? Never forget where you went through. I tell you. Only back and all. Only back and all. This one, this one. That, everybody want to come prime minister. Everybody, everybody. And, you know, and at the end of the day, the people are fine. You know? Everybody only want to get their hand. Everybody emotional. Like, you know, like a ballerina. You have to walk around eggshells with them. Like you're walking on eggshells. At the end of the day, nobody had a plan for nobody out here. You know? Nobody had a plan for the small man. Nobody had a plan for the taxi driver. Nobody had a plan for who working minimum wage. Everybody want millions every month. Nobody had a plan. You know? The plan what they have is to put money in their pocket for them and their family. That's the plan they have. And to live the life and get the pension. But I tell you, watch me. You see all we went through through pandemic and everything? Never forget the water that tried to drown you. Take what I tell you. A 19-year-old Aruka man was robbed while waiting to purchase a cell phone from someone he met on Oh God and Marketplace again. Around 4, around 4 30, man but he went to the corner of Mendes Road. Darwell Gardens Arima to buy the iPhone 12 Pro that was advertised for sale. The suspect relieved him of 3000 a Samsung X21 worth 2700 is how he before they told him to leave the area. Mark, I'm going to tell you all that. There are places, cell phone shops, okay, that sell original phones and whatnot. Get to them. Okay, get to them. That's what I tell you, people with cell phone shops and whatnot who want to advertise. This marketplace thing, very funny. You know, today I was telling somebody that. Right, be careful, you know, be careful advertising and bringing people home to see things. They only want, these are people just checking marketplace and see where you're living. And come and put on, to put on robbery. Yeah? Also, a, to, uh, a Toko lifeguard was assaulted by an alleged police officer after warning him about the dangers of bathing. And no, in, in, in a no swimming zone on, on Sunday, 25th of February 2024, on seeing the man bathing in a no swimming zone, the lifeguard reportedly blew his whistle and multiple times to get the man's attention. Listen to this video, yeah? go ahead, start it over. You see a torture on the beach. What a job on this is a big one, it's not like you. Then after ladies and gentlemen, then after ladies and gentlemen, it is, a, it, it is alleged that he and, the, he, 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 he and, he and the, the man fall out and the man come and beat him inside the lifeguard booth. Yeah, look at it. He did a video. Go ahead. Good day, Trinidad and Tobago. I'm a lifeguard of the Toko lifeguard unit. Work in Toko. Right? That I incident this evening. Half past five, when I was picking up flag to close off beach duty, where I warned a bather and called him in where he was bathing, bathing in a no bathing zone. The person I call out the person, I start telling him that watch my way bathing is not safe and he will encourage other people to come and bathe. The person start telling me he's a police officer and stuff like that. I say I don't care if he's a soldier, a doctor, a police officer. I say on my beach and you have to adhere to my rule. You have to adhere to my rule, right? I left the beach. The person decided to go back into the water. While I was in the lifeguard building, the said person came into the lifeguard building. Yeah. 
And Kim asked him to say, yeah, who in charge? I told him that I am in charge right now. Yeah. You're not authorized to be in the Life God building. Come out of the Life God building, please, because this is a government building. This is a Life God building, it's a government building. The person did not want it to leave. I tried to get the person out of the Life God building. The person started beating me. Look at my eye. Look where the person bites me. You understand? Look all day. Inside the Life God building. Look at my face. You understand? And saying that he's a police officer. And I have to listen to him. You understand? I have to listen to him. This is what life God has to go through with the public. You understand? He called the police. I don't know who he called. Because we called the Toko police and told them there's an incident here. The Toko police is calling me now to tell me for both of us to come down the station to sort out we differences. I told them that oh, I'm not on that sighting with no police picking up for no police. You understand? For them to come up here and sort out that because they have witnesses who saw where it is going. They say they had no vehicle. So they want me and the police officer to come down by the station because I know how things that does go. Police are pick up for police. Watch my condition where this policeman beat me up, bite me here inside of the lifeguard building. You understand? Where he's not authorized to be. This is the thing lifeguards have to go through. Huh. That's a serious thing. But you man, you know. This place really something as if a man tell you don't go be there because you know they have undercurrent and all kind of thing and the water is too terrible and he made a good point and so now when you bring the Lord here, other bathers will come and will, will, will go in the same area. Maybe you can swim, but other people can't swim. So he, he made a very valid point, but that's a serious thing because that's a government office. That lifeguard booth is a government office and he was assaulted. If he was assaulted by a police officer, if it alleged, well, I hope that I want I really like to see what come out of that, you know. I really, really like to see what come out of that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, we, as we continue, uh, a man who claimed to be an employee of the Ministry of Works and Transport reportedly opened a couple's gate, entered the property and walked around before leaving. Now, we can't say if this man is our official. We can't say, but nevertheless, we, have, we saw this on, 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 on social media. Go ahead. Let me see your ID. Where you have on there? Let me see it. Let me see it now. Let me see it. Let me see it now. Works and transport. Let me see the whole ID. Yeah, more camera. That and is what is you was a my yard? Yeah, my yard, buddy. You're in my yard. Were you going in my yard and open my gate and knocking on my door? Yeah. And when Who's you? you? Is that nobody coming there? And when a sure works not allowed let me, to let me see that idea, buddy. Let me see that idea. Go ahead again, let me hear. Let me see ID, where you have on there? Let me see it, let me see it now. Let me see it. Let me see it now. Works and transport. Let me see the whole ID. Yeah, one camera. And what is, you was in my yard. You're in my yard, buddy. You're in my yard. Come back to me, come back to me. Right, so I'm going to post that. I'm going to take my upper cider vinegar. Gummies. This bit's crazy, boy. This bit's crazy. But, it, but he should be dressing up properly with, with, pro, with proper logo on. You remember you're the young girl? No. But if you come up with my gate, come in my gate different, yes? Uh, what's that? You, you, you can't enter MSP like that, huh? <laughs> You can't enter MSP like that now by me now. They call by me MSP, you know. You can't enter MSP like that. La Cathedral, remember that, La Cathedral. You know, and I'll tell you this. Um, but it's a serious thing. It's a very, very serious thing that, you know, that the, these people are doing that. No, we don't know, we don't know, but you have to have some proper, that's why I, I, I stress every time my cameramen go out, have a, they have uniform, wear uniform, so people, because people are cautious about speaking to people, be, be, you have to identify yourself, you have to identify yourself, you have to wear a proper shirt, you have to look a, a certain way, you can't look like you're going online when you're going clubbing, you understand, I'm very serious about that, so if ever you should see my cameraman without uniform, like, please let me know. Yeah, let me know because it's just craziness. If ever you hire my cameraman outside there and you see them without uniform, let me know. 
That's a serious thing because now you can't be going out there and you are representing. Don't care to be represented. Who sent you out? So, ladies and gentlemen, um, um, three men were expected to appear before a master of the high court on Monday to answer the charge of uttering forged central bank checks. Remember, we highlighted this yesterday. Three accused were Gabriel Rambley, Julian Martinez, and Sean Martin. Rambley also faced three counts of assaulting a police officer in the execution of their duties and trying to escape lawful custody. The trio were arrested and charged on Saturday, 24th of February, after they attempted to change fraudulent checks on Thursday, the 22nd of February. Rambley allegedly went to cash a central bank check and the sum of $8,383 drawn on the account of the Ministry of National Security. However, Upon verification of the check and his identification card presented, both were discovered to be fraudulent. Shortly after, another report was made to where two men attempted to cash for, for the same forged central bank checks bearing the respective sums of 8,000. See, same thing. So, Gabriel Rambley, Julian Martinez, and Sean Martin. Also, ladies and gentlemen, exo uh, also exotic parakeets. Uh, and... Um, Capuchin monkeys and a quantity of drugs were seized by game warden in Diego Martin. Officers in the, of the Western Division Task Force conducted a search of warrant exercise at the residence of Blue Basin Road, Diego Martin. And during the search, the officers discovered 10 exotic golden wing parakeets, two wedge cap, capuchin monkeys, as well as 695 grams of cannabis. Let me see. I got you. Let me see the monkeys on them. Okay. Monkey looking sad. So I'd be brand to have these things and they don't take care of them, you know. They don't take care of them at all. I know people who have little monkeys and they, they boy they spend a lot and vet and all kind of thing, yes? Yeah. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a grenade get, uh, was found in a bushy area in Shagaramas on Saturday. Officers of Carnal Police Station, Criminal Investigation Department, and other units received information and searched a bushy area along the shoreline of the southern side of Alcon Bay Fishing Depot, Shagaramas. During the search, they found the M26 high explosive grenade and subsequently contacted officers of the explosive detection. And where are all these grenades coming from? Because the last one they found was in, um, in Maulad Road. In Prisal, the, the officers of Central Division found that on Tuesday 20th. So you have this is the second grenade. We have, we have a photograph of the second grenade. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a straight man painter was detained after he was caught with a stolen car in the rub during a robbery on Sunday. Between 4 p.m. and 5.45, officers from Stolen Vehicles Squad held an intelligence-led exercise during which they obtained a warrant and searched a straightener and painter home along Bonaventure Road in Gasparillo. What? During the search, the officers found a white teeter hatchback car without a license plate and attached. A search of the license database was then conducted, which revealed that the car was a subject of a robbery and with aggravation reported to the Central Police Station. So you had to watch street, some straighteners and painters and they don't know what they're doing. Also, a man was found dead inside his vehicle along Chan Avenue in El Socorro early today. He's been identified as 51-year-old Brian Grant of Sandy Grandy. That is all we have right now. Uh, I believe he got a heart attack or something like that. It is, it, right, it is right behind Kaleidoscope. This road right behind Kaleidoscope. Okay, they found him. He apparently got a heart attack. He's been identified as Brian Grant. Also, a man drunk while bathing at Tyrico yesterday was identified as 24 year old Gordon Fring, Frimpong. Around 1 30, Frank Pong was brought to bathing when he disappeared under the water. Persons who saw what happened immediately notified the lifeguard who quickly responded and pulled Frank Pong from the sea. Frank Pong was brought to the shore where, where attempts were made to re resuscitate him. However, he died before the emergency health services arrived. I tell you, don't play with the beach. Don't bathe, and the lifeguard is right. So, this is a young man that drunk. Carry this back tomorrow for me, please. I want to know how many people drunk for the year because it's a serious thing. The Cedar Branch. 
And it's sad. We lost a young boy like that, 24 years old. What is that? That is really, really sad. A man was found unconscious with a wound to his head in Penal on Saturday. Around 4 a.m., persons observed the injured man lying on the ground in a pool of blood near First Citizen Bank off Rock Road in Penal. A man was found unconscious with a wound to his head in Penal on Saturday, the 24th of February. Around 4 a.m., persons observed the, observed the injured man lying on the ground in a pool of blood near First Citizen Bank. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a father and son are now homeless after the table land home was destroyed by fire on Saturday, the 24th of February. Around 10 30 residents of North Trace observed smoke coming from the home of Joel Smith and his eight year old son. Smith was not at home at the time as he went to do a private job and took his son with him. The residents subsequently contacted the police. You know, with this to go and be to work and you are and, and watch me lost everything. I don't know if his family can get in contact with me. Let's see what we can do for him. All right, so anybody who knows Joel Smith, tell him to get in contact with us. We'll send before we go 15 year old Claudia. Claudia Bolivar from Amera Road Arima was reported missing after she was last seen on Friday, 23rd of February. That's all we have. A 15-year-old Claud Claudia Bolivar from Amera Road Arima was reported missing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now out of time. Remember, download the Ian Allen app on your iPhone. Download the Ian Allen app on your Android phone. Uh, keep Keep looking at us on Ian Allen Network on YouTube, Ian Allen Network on Facebook, and make sure... Keep in contact with us. What's up me on 2944 81 for all the breaking news and what's happening. Don't worry, you and I will fix this place. And nobody don't bother with nobody. Everybody care about their self and their self alone. And today's victory for you know the Hindu community because you now realize that they were treated terrible during COVID. See? Just to let you know that. And that's a big story today. That's a big story today. Some of the news station might, I, I, I don't even get that as yet. But remember when you're looking at crime much and you want to know what's happening, you only look, you look at one program, the most watched program in the entire Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. Because you know why? We got the millions. We got the millions. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. Have a wonderful night. Good night.